Hello everyone, this is David Jamison coming to you live from the Pro Pride Studios here in Holly, Michigan, and we got one heck of a show for you today. In fact, we will be drawing for our $2,000 raffle today, so stay tuned, it's gonna happen at the end of the episode. And you don't really need to like, share, and comment. Well, technically, yes. You know what, Lazar? They could like, share, and comment because it could roll into our new program. We're gonna talk about our new program. We're not gonna do a raffle anymore. This is going to be one heck of a show, so stick with us, but first, watch this. Hello everyone, this is David Jamison here at Pro Pride, the home of the 3P. Give me 60 seconds, please. Let me ask you two questions. What excuse are you telling yourself, and what truths are you keeping from your family? It is a truth proven by physics that a ball hitch must sway. There's no way around it. And any type of attachment or hitch that says it is sway is admitting that the trailer will sway and the apparatus will attempt to control that inevitable sway. This family in this video thought that they were all set just like 100% of all sway accidents. Nobody thinks it'll happen to them. They feel they're safe reasons like the tongue weight was distributed properly. They were traveling slow. They thought that it just wouldn't happen to them so they couldn't plan for it. Simple physics prove that sway is not if, it is when. There are two links here, one for more info and one for getting real. This is David Jamison from ProPride Industries, the home of the 3P ProPride Hitch, and I will see you next week, whether you like it or not. Welcome back to episode 29 of ProPride TV. 29, aren't you 29 years old, Lazar? Yes, sir. Lazar is 29 years old, and this is episode 29. A lot of coincidences today. And guess who is lurking behind the lights over there? Guess, you're gonna see him a little bit. He's got a very interesting topic and it's titled, What If I Can't Get It In All The Way? So we will be going with Tech Talk with Brent shortly, but first, you know, our announcements. So remember today is the $2,000 raffle. Can we bring that one up? The yes, $2,000 raffle and the items. You know what, why don't you, can you read it off Lazar? You've got it real time over there. Yeah, we got the hitch cover, we have the Pro Pride hat, the V2 jacks. The V2 jacks. The uh, Ronnie Dennis special. Um, it is the solar panel kit um, that could, that probably can. That powers your entire, power your entire RV, RV right? and, the, and Brent said, and then some. And then, and then some. some. Right, and that's Ronnie Dennis, the man with what? Two first, Two first names. names. Exactly, there we go. It's, gonna, it's a sad day we don't get to talk with and about Ronnie after the today because we are doing the drawing and someone is going to win the solar panel system. Yes, what else? We got a hat? Yeah, we got the hat, the V2s, the hitch cover. What is that? The uh, uh, a lot bar. bar. Lot bar, yes. Very, very good. Uh, uh, what would you call it? A booty. Like that's what pirates call it, right? A booty. It's yes. A healthy Over booty. A healthy booty. Brent said a healthy booty for RV booty. There we go. So anyway, that leads us now to, hey, I think it's a commercial break time. Yes, it is. Hey, it's Dave here from Pro Pride. Just want to talk to you a little bit about our 0% financing. If you are ready to purchase a 3P pivot point projection hitch from Pro Pride right now, you can get it with nothing down, 0% interest for 18 months. That's 18 equal payments, 0% interest. Right now is the time to act because we're building them and shipping them as fast as we can. So look for our 0% offered on our site and see you soon. Welcome back. One heck of a commercial, huh? Beautiful. <laughs> anyway, Great actor. So what, yeah, so what I wanna talk about, Let's. what we're gonna do after this week, we're, we have been doing raffles every 60 days. We're now going to have a page that has what we're gonna call Pro Pride Points. So when you like, share, and comment, and you share into a group, or you send us a video, you will get points. And I, then you could go to our Pro Pride point page, 3P, and you could pick out gifts, you can compile them, and then maybe if you get discounts off of, the, of a hitch, a lot of things you use for it. Even, uh, even a d date with Lazar. <laughs> so you could win that. So, and we also have uh, our sister company, Pro Pride Marine, there could be we could use points for marine Absolutely. parts if any of your boaters. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do it with a digital scratch off type situation where you'll be emailed or else. Actually, I think they'll go to a page, they'll enter something, 
and then they get uh, scratch off, right? We haven't worked out all the details, but trust us, within the next two weeks, they'll be rolling. So continue to like, share, and comment because we know that you're good people and you like to help us. So that leads us now to shout out time. Let's see who's watching, Lazar. Can you, can you fill us in here? Yeah, we got Jordan Monroe. Jordan Monroe, JM. Wandering Weekends. Wandering Weekends is watching. That's a heck of a, that, that's got to be their business name. Yeah. Okay. Kyle Johnson. That's Corey, you say? Brent just said that's Corey. Is Brent Mike? Is your mic live? I turned it off. No, he I turned it off because he had to hack. Yeah. So. Eric Zorig, Joshua Kuski. OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson is on this week. Yes. Uh, and Vlad, Vlad Putin. Vladimir is. Putin is on watching people. OJ and Vlad, but not, they're not together. No. Okay. Cal Johnson said good morning all. Good morning, Cal. KJ, he always says hello, doesn't he? He does. KJ's solid. Eric Zorik. Eric, easy, yeah, easy. Yeah, that's easy. a good one, easy. I like it. Eric Zorik, that, that would be an awesome set of initials right there, easy. Speaking be. of easy, Brent will be on in a little while, so don't go anywhere. And don't forget Mrs. Alex Huang, one of our <laughs> biggest supporters and very nice lady. Thank you for supporting us, and I'm glad you're watching. So anyway, that leads us now to, we already watched the 0% commercial. Do I hear any music playing? You do. Do I? I think you do. Yeah. You know what time it is, people. It's time for the man with the faux hawk. The man with the knowledge. The man whose last name is McDowell, and that's a little C, big D, to talk about what if I can't get it in all the way. Now. We're going to leave this music going because of the title of his talk. So he's going to speak with this music going the entire time. Man. Plus, it'll force him to leave the set quickly. <laughs> right? Yeah. If I can well, hear it, back. I can try and rap to it or something. Yeah. You know? Well, thank you. Right? Uh, no, we'll skip that. We'll skip that. Just skip that stuff. And remember, he is of questionable origin. I asked his lineage, his ethnicity. He wasn't sure with that name, McDowell. So he is of questionable origin and a man who rocks the faux hawks. Faux hawk as if it were the year 2000. That's right. Yep. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody they might as well do it. I me. saw a guy on 90 Day Fiance rocking one. <laughs> is that 90 Day Fiance current movie? Or? No, it was an no, old one. I flipped it. All right. This, you know how I like it? He was a junior high gym teacher. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Isn't that something? I probably got some of those shorts. Junior tucked high somewhere. gym teacher with a full hawk. <laughs> well, it happens to the best of us. Yeah. I'll tell you. I almost slicked it back today, and I'm like, you know what? That would just ruin the like whole Dracula. thing. Like Dracula. Yeah. You should. I would. I just Black throw the power it. up, too, and yeah. go from there. A one, All right. All right. a two. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're right. That's Count Dracula, Count right? Dracula. All right, so, um, so you know, the fun pun of what if I can't get it in all the way. So we've got quite a few customers that have been calling and texting and showing my FaceTime videos and all kinds of stuff with us just about hitching up and stuff. So it's really, uh, you, and that's what this is all about is getting that stinger into the opening of the hitch all the way. You don't have to necessarily have it in there all the way to get it secured in there. So um, and that kind of sounds weird because you do have to have it in there all the way, but not to get the over center latches over enough to pull it in. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about. So, um, so you get here, it generously started and then the over center latches pull it all the way in? Most definitely. So that's okay. exactly right. So we've got that cone that's on the, the uh, hitch bar itself that goes into it. And that piece, if you're, if, as you come into it, as long as you're almost all the way into that cone or probably about a half of an inch left, you can grab those over center latches and literally pull them the rest of the way in with those latches with the breaker bar and the 15 16 socket that we supply you with and pull that the rest of the way in. If it's like right there, you stop before it you know, goes to one side or the other like we tell you to, um, and it's so close, you can even grab on the top of there where the cover is of the hitch itself, shake that thing around a little bit just to get it up a little bit further onto the shaft of the, of the, uh, of the hitch bar, and uh, just enough to get those over center latch screws over there into those little sockets and just pull it, wedge it the rest of the way in. Do you realize how difficult it is for some three immature men to sit there and listen to that discussion <laughs> I, and not say anything? Yeah, I do. Just, I, exactly. I, I did this. I mean, thing for today. I know. It's like it, it just so. And the operative word in that is immature. Now, may I interject? If those of you can hear that banging noise out there and everything, that you know what that sound is, people, that's the sound of safety being yes, built. It is. Right there. Yeah, I like that. It right. Yep. Yeah, that's the sound of safety. That that is for sure. 
That no is for sure. sway towing. Do we have that picture? By yes, chance? we do. All right, I'm going to show you this um, because this is an example of what's going on there. And I'm going to look over here a little bit so we can kind of see. But that's basically almost in there all the way, but it's not in all the way. But that's far enough to where you literally can take those over center latches and just pull it the rest of the way in. So uh, don't be afraid to do that at all. You don't have to have it all the way. It doesn't have to be a perfect fit in there all the way. As long as it's close right there and you can get the over center latches in to pull it the rest of the way in, you're golden. You're absolutely golden. So don't worry about it. That's it, man. That That is wonderful. Brett, good job. He's adhering to the quick tip. Right. <laughs> rather than those 20 minute ones. And we are going to have a video for you to show this um, that we'll add to the link later on so that you guys can see it too for hitching and unhitching. Um, one that we did with uh, with the new video that should be out hopefully soon too of the install with the V2 jack. So something to look forward to. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, okay. Anything, uh, so now we are going to, let's roll right into that affiliate network commercial. Hey everyone, David Jamison here, the crazy finance guy. And speaking of finance, remember if you like to talk about the 3P, all you have to do is go over to our network page, sign up, and we will give you links, QR codes, all that crazy stuff. If you have any questions, you can email Lazar and he will be happy to help you. You know how much attention he likes. So all you have to do is while you're talking about the benefits and the enjoyment of using the 3P, you can actually make money, 300 bucks to be exact. So go to the affiliate page and sign up today. Thanks. Pitch man. Yeah, the sl slammy or whatever. Or like the, the, the gutter stuff. Slice it. Slice it. Chop. We're Chop. live. We are live. We are live. You know what? I've realized, people, I'm becoming that real bad version of that pitch man that you see, like with the slap <laughs> chop. Like the slap <laughs> chop, the gutters, the leaky gutters, the, the tape. Remember they put it on the boat and he goes out in the boat? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm like Flex here. Tape or what? But, oh, oh, oh hold on. I want to. Lazar just put his finger up. Tim, Tim uh, Feltner just said, I've tried to become an installer network. Uh, but ha isn't having any luck. Tim, if you are having any issues, email me, lazar at propriedindustries.com. I'll get you uh, into the installer network right away. So Lazar skipped a couple of things and went right to questions, <laughs> just so you know. So I mean, that, at least he's taking an initiative. Is, is Brent's is music, can you right hit Albert yeah. please? For that, did you hit it? <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> so I appreciate it. So what do we got now? We now have the five-star review on Trustpilot by Greg. And this is a long one, so bear with me, guys, but it's a good one. Is it ready to go, Lazar? Yes, sir. Real time, I purchased a used ProPride 3P hitch because I experienced a near loss of control sway event using a name brand sway control hitch with load leveling bars last fall. That's a good sentence right there. A strong gust of wind hit hit the side of my Wildwood Heritage Glen 282RK tra travel trailer while driving on I-75 in Michigan. That hitch was purchased with my new travel trailer. I'm a very experienced driver that has towed four different travel trailers for over 40 years. That sway experience was one of the most frightening events of my life. And these people aren't kidding when we get these things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. even, even though my purchase was used, he purchased a used uh, 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 3P. Mm -hmm. I think I remember when that took place. It was just recently, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And didn't involve ProPride financially at all. When I had questions or needed missing parts, ProPride lived up to its stellar customer service reviews they have built the company on. Incredibly responsive and approachable. I even visited their production facility and was hugely impressed with their hospitality and sincere helpfulness. Did he grab lunch while he's here? I don't think he did. No. Uh, I installed the hitch following ProPride's thorough instruction manual, definitely more involved than a standard sway control hitch, and it took me about five hours total. But that's why we have the install network. Those guys get it down to about three, don't they, okay. typically? But certainly doable by anyone of a, with a bit of mechanical skill. Stuck or unsure, the ProPride Facebook community is very helpful, or call ProPride, your inquiry will get answered. Funny how fate works. Within a couple of months of installation, I came rapidly upon a large accident in progress and was forced to perform an emergency maneuver to avoid hitting other vehicles or being rear-ended. I'm certain the ProPride hitch helped me, helped me keep everything under control. The only downside is that the somewhat tricky hitch alignment and engagement, which Brent just went over right some there. of that. We've got plenty of videos online, but I've learned quite a few tips 
from the FB group, and I'm confident I'll always have no issues getting connected. On the positive side, everything except the Stinger, including the heavy load leveling bars, remain connected to the trainer, trailer at all times, making for much more manageable use. Out, and I love bullet points, Greg. Outstanding product, outstanding company, outstanding service, outstanding staff, outstanding owner. It's Greg, like, that is one star, five star review right there. Like in fact, five O's right there. Yeah, we can use a whole bunch of these at different. There's so much stuff in here that's great. Thank we you. talk about yeah. it all the time, dispelling the myths like, oh, if you have experience, or oh, you do this, or oh, you do that. It doesn't matter. It's not it, sway is not if. It's just when. Yeah. It's when it's going to happen. It's it's like <laughs> you put Brent with some alcohol on a dance floor. <laughs> It's not if he's going to dance, it's, it's when. when. Like It could oh. be one drink, it could be three, right? It can happen. And, you know, Frankie Goes to Hollywood is one of his favorite bands, <laughs> just so you know. Relax. Exactly. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that leads us now. Anyone laugh about that or anything? Nobody cares, do they? Nobody cares. Okay. <laughs> so what's another either, crash but... of the week? Crash of the week. Brent, here, you, you read this one. Man, all right. I had, Greg wore me out. Man, that's a heck of a one too. So uh, this is a pickup, a pickup pulling camper and a boat crashes with all three rolling off the road. Wow, so yeah, he had a little bit of a, a triple, wow, triple thing going on there. Yeah, that's a bit, a bit crazy. So according to Minnesota State Patrol, a Ford F-350 towing a fifth wheel camper and a trailer with a boat was northbound on Highway 169 near Rum River Drive North when it lost control and started to spin. The, uh, the camper and trailer disconnected from the truck and all three spun and rolled going off the road uh, to the right, coming to rest on the shoulder and in the ditch. Uh, the truck came to a rest on its roof and the truck started on fire as the driver and passengers were able to get out non-life-threatening injuries. Wow. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty intense there. Um, and that's and that a... Very, yeah. it's, it's <clears throat> not, it's, it's yeah, not, it's to say it's infrequent, yeah. It's not infrequent, it's frequent, isn't yeah, it? for sure. Even if you've got a big truck and fifth a fifth wheel, wheel in this case, um, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can tow a third behind it. And <laughs> it's a, man, that's a hard lesson learned right there. But right. yeah, got to be careful out there. Holy right. moly. So the one, the one being towed by the fifth wheel caused it. I'm sure that it's probably yes. half of the deal that's happened there. Yeah. Yeah, if not all of the deal. The boat almost looks unscathed. Yeah, I know. Boat's like, what's up, man? I'm just chilling here. Yeah. Where's so the water? How, any more questions? Lazar jumped forward, but that's okay. Because it had to do with him. <clears throat> yeah. But you know what? No, we, th in all honesty, though, bolstering our affiliate network or our, our install network mm -hmm. is very important. It's huge. Yeah. It's huge for us. Absolutely. Because we've had customers, seriously, guys, every day, every day they're looking for installers. So mm -hmm. um, if you want to make some extra money, that peer to peer install network we've got there for you guys, we created that. So that obviously it's going to help out everybody in this group. So uh, let's absolutely let's get that going. Any questions, Lazar? Uh, no questions. But Joe Whiting said, "Thank you guys for getting that brood out. It turned out really nice. If anyone hasn't uh, considered yet, you guys really should." So the, the brood is our drop hitch. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's a basic drop hitch. Yes, I saw a guy with a drop hitch at the gas station, and he had the biggest RV I'd, I'd ever seen. It wasn't a toy hauler. And I spoke with him and just mentioned, have you heard of the three P's? He's like, yeah. And then he told me about how his friction bars does that. Well, is that what they're called, mm -hmm. friction bars? And I'm like, and then we discussed sway. And he said he was a farmer. And he's seen tons of sway throughout his lifetime. And, it, and he really thought about it that, yeah, it is inevitable. This stuff is inevitable. Yeah. Yeah. So no questions. We're kind of delaying here for the questions. Nothing coming no up. Questions. But let's, yeah. let's check that install network. Uh, we have one more commercial, don't we? Yes, sir. Hey, everyone. David Jamison, the crazy finance guy here at ProPride. I want to talk to you about the install network. Now, this thing is literally blowing up. People all over the United States like to install the 3P, and there's people all over the United States that need help installing the 3P. So if you need either, go to the install network page. The, the link is posted below. You'll find it on our website. And sign up if you need help having an installation done for you or if you'd like to install them and pick up a few extra bucks. We're here for you and I'll see you soon. And welcome back. I know one, everyone was at the edge of their seat because what's coming up shortly is the $2,000 raffle. But first, let's recap briefly what's happening. Then I'll tell, you know, I've, I've 
it's usually dad jokes by Dave time, but we got a little something different today. But anyway, don't forget, this is our last day for the $2,000 raffle, but you can still like, share, and comment because we will be rolling this into a new program. What's that up there with the, uh, there's like algebra on the board over there. What is that? 94 and a half <laughs> by 47 and a half. I don't know what that is. Is that you guys? Yeah. There's algebra on the on our production board. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> we, will ha we will have a page for pro pride, pro pride points. Right, that'll also be 3P. The triple P. The triple P, the 3P. So the recap, is done and now it's time for dad jokes by dave but i have a public announcement today a public service announcement someone actually broke in to my office my personal office here and they stole my copy of microsoft office and i just want you to know i will find you you have my word we're gonna have to excel that <laughs> oh that's even worse that's yeah Make that a PowerPoint. You've got to make yeah. that a PowerPoint yeah, that's, of getting it. That's just getting why, so yeah, bad. It's ugly. It's so bad. So anyway, <laughs> it's now time for the two thousand dollar raffle. We got to come around here see it li live. Lazar, would you like to press the button? Or yes, how about the cameraman? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to bring the cameraman around? Come on, Reed. Come on. This is Reed, our cameraman. Come on, take that thing off. You know these millennials or whatever the hell they are it takes them forever to do anything. Come on. Let's get over here. Just Come press, on in and press, press, press that button. Press it. Oh, I'm click. Yeah. It's on you. There you go. All right. Very Congratulations, Nancy. She she uh she sends in questions almost every week. Yeah, yeah, Nancy yeah. Decker, congratulations. And she's an active RVer, isn't she? That is awesome. Very good. Awesome. awesome. You've had conversations Congrats. with Nancy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know Nancy. Congrats. Nancy, Congrats. congratulations. And that was what, out of 284 entries? 299 entries. 299 entries. That's pretty good. Odds. Brad Rice says uh those dad jokes are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Brad Rice. Brad, you know what? I'm going to shoot you some pro pride points just for saying that. <laughs> Three. No, I don't even know how it's going to work yet, but we'll figure it out. Thank you, Brad. <clears throat> Any comments? Is Nancy on today? Uh, no, Nancy isn't on. Oh, she can't win then. Next. No. <laughs> uh, oh. Lazar is answering a post right now, I live know. online. I don't yeah. know what he there you go, he's throwing in his email. So any of those install things. See, Lazar, they, uh, he's taken initiative. I've worked with this young man for years, and now <laughs> he just takes it, even if it's not called for in the script, he just takes initiative. That's the beauty of the live broadcast. It is the beauty. <laughs> and speaking of beauties, wasn't it wonderful to hear from Brent again? Can we just get a little bit of his music right there? Yeah, we can. Gosh, man, I, I need that just okay. like in my, I kind of have that inner dialogue going on anyways with right. myself, and that music would really help. And don't forget, today he spoke on what if you can't get it in all the way. Yeah. Tech yeah, Talk on Brent. Do. So now that will lead us into our outro music, and I think we've covered everything. Nancy, get a hold of Brent, I would imagine, or Lazar. Congratulations. And I am going to come up, and I'm going to say goodbye to everyone. Okay. Episode 29. David Jamison at ProPride Studios, and I will see you next week, whether you like it or not. Mull around a little bit.